I'm going to illustrate a couple of the, uh, the differences in some uh, Stromberg, Zenith Stromberg uh, CD type carburetors. And um, in these examples here, we have a, uh, a adjustable jet CD 150. We have a adjustable needle CDSE. And over here we have one that doesn't have an adjustable needle, needle nor an adjustable jet. And this one here is the um, final one that's going to show you a um, adapter kit that was put on and allows you to have an adjustable jet. Um, these CD carburetors, which can, stands for a constant depression, have um, slides that go up and down in the um, body of the carburetor. Um, this is it, the uh, height of this is determined by the dynamics of suction going through the carburetor. So the uh, the operation of the carburetor is uh, you move the um, butterfly, the throttle plate, and that creates suction from the engine. And the dynamics of that will raise the level of this piston. Attached to the bottom of the piston is the needle valve. So the needle sits down inside of the jet. So on the older uh, CD-150s, <clears throat> you could adjust the jet, you could move it up and down by rotating um, this little screw at the bottom with a coin or a screwdriver. So that's moving the jet up and down relative to the needle which is coming in here. So obviously move this, moving the jet down will enrich in it because you'll be enlarging um, the space around the needle and then raising it back up will make it uh, more lean. These earlier carburetors uh, for cold starting they use something called a starter bar. So when this, this the, uh, when the choke is put on from the dashboard it, it raises a uh, bar inside of the, the carburetor body. Essentially uh, while still blocking off airflow it's raising the needle and the piston which would give you a more rich environment. When they came out with the, um, the CDSE, uh, this is a more uh, uh, sophisticated carburetor that was made primarily for emissions requirements. So uh, one of the things you'll see that's different along the side is this has a temperature compensator, there's a bypass valve, and the cold start mechanism is not done via a starter bar like the older CDs, but a disc plate that allows um, different amounts of um, fuel to come in to enrich in the uh, mixture for uh, starting purposes. Uh, in addition to enriching the mixture, it also taps the throttle thing open a little bit as well. But um, this particular uh, carburetor here, um, the jet on the bottom is uh, fixed. So not like this one where you have the screw that you can adjust it, but it's fixed. But on this particular model, you can, and I've removed the screws and the springs from these dash pots for illustration. Um, this is a, a piston that goes up inside and has a diaphragm on it. And this particular model is a, um, is a um, adjustable needle, adjustable needle. So the inside of this tube, you can um, move the needle up and down. Not a whole lot, but uh, like a micro adjustment. And it's done with a special tool, basically a long Allen wrench. And the key to this tool is it clicks in, clicks in, because you need to hold the hold the uh, the piston shaft while you're turning this uh, hex key. And what that's basically doing is it's moving the the needle up and down. So you turn it uh, you turn it in one direction, and you see that it's protruding out more. That's going more into the the jet. So that would be making it a leaner. And then if you raise it uh, this way, you'd be uh, raising it out of the jet, which will be causing a um, a more rich a rich mixture. The uh, unfortunately. There were also models of the CDSE, still has the compensator, the bypass valve, and the starter, uh, starter circuit. But these did not have adjustable, um, adjustable jets in them. They, they didn't have adjustable jets nor adjustable needles. 
uh, seems a little bit short-sighted in probably trying to uh, control the carburetors to make them so they were kind of tamper-proof for the most part, and uh, that was done primarily for uh, emissions reasons. But the short-sightedness is um, that environmental uh, differences, uh, elevation, um, condition of the vehicle, uh, condition uh, type of fuel, uh, newer fuels, there's lots of reasons that you would want to be able to still change the mixture on a carburetor. So the answer to that is an adapter. So this is, again, temperature compensator, bypass valve, and the starter circuit. This is a CDSE 150. However, we have removed we have removed the um, the bottom, and instead of having a fixed jet uh, like the old ones, we have a adapter which is basically doing the same thing as the older CD. So now we can move the jet up and down to to enrich in or to um, lean out the lean out the mixture. So um, that's a Joe Curto item and um, that will make it so this carburetor will be adjustable for a mixture. That part will look like similar to this one and if this is removed this is the jet holder and inside of here is the actual jet, uh, spring loaded jet. So when you're screwing this internal screw up and down it's pushing up on this is raising the jet and in relative to the needle it's uh, in further making a leaner mixture and out further making a richer mixture. So this is a nice feature of the old ones. They got rid of it with the newer ones but you can get a kit to put that part back into it so you can have adjustability on the newer CD SE emissions carburetors.